Hello everyone, welcome to one our gameplay channel. There is a new video on Tron and Liberty YouTube channel and I would like to briefly tell you about its content. Subscribe if you are interested in this game. In this video I'll mainly guide you through what you need at the beginning of character development. Of course, create a character and complete the tutorial at the beginning. As you progress, you'll see a purple mission displayed on the right, which is a main mission adventure called Codex Inverse. It will lead you to Kestler Village. After arriving at Kestler Village, click on the icon located on the right side of the screen. This content notification window showcasing different codexes will appear. The Adventure Codex contains the game's main story and should be your top priority. It unveils new areas and essential items for your growth. You can check the progress of various Adventure Codexes in the Adventure tab. Adventure Codexes are divided into acts and you can press a button to receive the final reward upon completing an act. There is also a Bro Codex that offers helpful rewards for growth if completed. The Exploration Codex, akin to a hunting ground, can be accessed by opening a dungeon. It allows problem solving in specific areas for rewards. Completing all Exploration Codexes in area grants a final reward. The Shire Collecting Codex, not part of the content notification, involves finding documents for cosmetic coins. Request quests from the Resistance Army by visiting the village's quest manager. These quests are available from level 11. Multiply quests targeting the same monster can be accepted simultaneously, allowing quicker completion, but these quests consume contract rights, which recharge over time. Guild requests are collaborative quests for guild members, members who participate and win and show rewards for the entire guild. Joining a guild early is advisable for these rewards. Local events involve monster hunting in open fields. Completing them efficiently earn rewards based on your contribution. Regional events categorized into peace and conflict zones have varying rules for user battles. The first regional event in the peace zone is recommended to try out. Guild area events allow guild ranking competitions, offering a different experience from individual events. This video mainly covered core content, while the next one will focus on the battle system, weapon combination and battlefield enjoyment, exploring the environmental aspect that add to the game. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoy, please subscribe on my channel, give a like on this video, write your comments and thoughts in the comment section, I wish you good health and best of luck, goodbye.